In the last episode, I talked about relationship marketing and the importance of having a customer-centric focus. I talked about how it's important to create a relationship based on a profound understanding of the customer, but also based on trust towards the brand. I also mentioned that with relationship marketing, marketers must move their customers forward through their customer journey. But what exactly is a customer journey? The customer journey is a sequence of steps or stages through which the customer passes from the discovery of a need to the satisfaction of that need. For over half a century, marketers have behaved as if all their customers were ready to buy. As if all they had to do was show up and call their customers to action to get them to purchase their products. Today we realize that we need to do much more. We need to guide customers as they search for information and consider their options before making a purchase and adopting a brand. So it's critically important to fully understand the process and each stage of that process, and most important, to understand how to move the customer forward in their journey. Essentially, the customer journey is a dynamic and cyclical purchase process that replaces the old and tired linear model of the sales funnel. The customer moves through a series of phases or stages that start with the discovery of a need, then moving on to searching for information, the consideration of various possibilities, and ultimately, the purchase of a product, service, or experience. But what makes the customer journey so interesting is that, first of all, the customer can move forward, but also regress in their journey. And the brand must be able to detect the regression and act accordingly. Secondly, each interaction is a moment of truth that can reinforce, weaken, or end the relationship, which is why it's critically important to ensure a quality experience at each stage of the process, and above all, after the purchase. And last but not least, the first purchase by a customer is not the end, but simply the means to initiating, consolidating, and amplifying a long-term relationship. The challenge for marketers is to be able to identify at which stage each customer is located along their customer journey and to be able to understand the direction and the velocity of their journey. Marketers must then create and deploy tools, activities, and content that will be relevant and useful at each stage of the journey, and most importantly, that will help move the customer forward from one stage to the next throughout the customer journey. Tools and content that might include inspiring video content at the discovery or dream stage, a series of email messages and personalized guides at the information and conversion stages, comparison tools and recommendation engines at the consideration stage, reviews, comments, and testimonials at the choosing stage, and the list goes on. It's critically important for marketers to think about what happens after the sale. What can you do to make sure that your customers use your products and services effectively? What can you do to make sure that they get the most satisfaction out of their purchase experience? That it's an exceptional experience that will reinforce the relationship? And last but not least, what are other categories of goods and services that will allow you to satisfy other customer needs in order to deepen and diversify the relationship with your customer? In order to truly master the concept of the customer journey, ask yourself these three essential questions. First of all, what are the key stages of the customer journey for the typical customers or personas that purchase your brand? This is what we call mapping the customer journey. Secondly, what are the media, the tools, the messages, and the content that are relevant and useful at each stage of the journey? Thirdly, and above all, what are the things that you want your customers to do in order to move them forward to the next step on their journey? In other words, what can you do to guide your customer in their journey and move them to the next step of the process? So that, in a nutshell, is what the customer journey is all about. But how do you figure out where each of your customers stands on their own personal customer journey? And above all, how do you manage the full range of tools, information, and content to provide your customers with the right message at the right time? That's a lot of assets to manage simultaneously. 
Sounds like a full-time job for a whole team of marketers. But actually, it's a lot simpler than that. In the next episode of What's This All About, I'll tell you about marketing automation and how you can use it to manage thousands of interactions with millions of customers without even lifting a little finger. To learn more about the customer journey, visit strategies.ca.